Okay, so in this tutorial, what I'm going to show you now is how to construct a detailed airflow network uh, for Energy Plus in, um, in ODS Studio, making use of CFD uh, to get the actual pressure coefficients around the building uh, using the CFD results from a virtual wind tunnel, which I've shown you in a previous study. So what I've got here is a building which I've uh, developed and meshed up and zoned uh, according to um, previous tutorials that you would have seen before. And you can see there's a, there is a possibility to have a complex airflow network on the ground level here. So what I'll just do is uh, show you how to set that one up. Okay, so we've just done exactly the same as from previous tutorials and we've um, created the surfaces and zoned it up. So what I'll do is I'll start up in this one, the CFD module as well, because we might need that later. Uh, Energy Plus and Energy Plus Airflow Network in ODS Studio. What I'll also do um, is uh, just skin the interface, just to get rid of all the unnecessary menus, and I'll collapse away all these menus. And what you can see is we've got this airflow network menu here now, okay? Now the first thing you wanna do is actually just create a default control template, which you'll apply. I'll, I'll just call it default control, and we'll apply that to all the, uh, I'll make it a constant vent control mode, and we'll apply this to all the zones uh, also, same with the components we want to have here, I'll just call it a default component. It'll be a detailed opening and we'll have two types of opening factors, um, which is the minimum that you need. Now, all that we have to do is actually go through and start applying um, these components to the airflow network. So if we collapse away that menu, you can see each object that we select. If it's a zone, we can either apply a control template. If it's a surface, we can apply component template or an optional control template to it as well. So just to give you an idea of that, in, we've got a window selected here, so we'll apply a default component, which was that detailed opening type component to it. Now you can have multiple types of components that you could add, but we've just got one simple one here. Same here, you've got default control. Now after a while, as this gets more complicated, you won't be able to, it'll keep hard, be hard to keep track of what your network looks like. So you can actually visualize the network as you're making it by opening up this menu to the right of the uh, 3D view, clicking on activate, and you can see this magenta line here connects the window to the zone. Similarly, you can select now this next window and apply the default component, and there you go. Uh, similarly, we go here, apply default control, and you just keep going from zone to window, applying default control, default templates. So default control, and this one here again, default component. There's another window there on that other side there. So I'll go default component there. And you can start to see now our airflow network is building up. Uh, similarly here, default component, default control, default component. So there, and that's the end of the ground level. We also just want the air to be able to come around here. So I'll apply there, default component. I'm only doing it for the ground level. Um, if this was a larger building, you'd want to do this across multiple um, zones with horizontal openings in to go between levels and you could build up a very comp complex uh, airflow network this way. Um, and so on. It's there, default. And we've got a final window here as well, which I'll, there we go. So that's it done. So there's our airflow network that you can see. Now, um, we can select everything. I'll collapse away this menu again. And what we can do is go back here to the settings. And if we have surface average calculation, this is the default in Energy Plus, And it makes the assumption that there's it's a rectangular building. So what we can actually do here is if, I go right IDF, this will actually, in the text editor here for uh, Blender, it will create this airflow network here. And this is all the IDF text that's needed to describe that airflow network. It's got the simulation control objects, it's got all of your reference crack conditions and your detailed openings and so on, okay? Um, what we can then do is in the Energy Plus menu, we can actually just export the whole model here that we have selected as Energy Plus and run the case. And you can see over there, it's actually running that, that simulation. Now the key thing that we have with ODS though is because we have a, a powerful sort of CFD solver, 
um, we can actually um, change this surface average calculation to actually input. Now the thing is when we do this we need to now get these inputs from a um, CFD model or they need to come from somewhere. So when you change it to input it actually says here get external nodes. Now if you've previously run a virtual wind tunnel study like we sh showed in a previous tutorial you should have a, a virtual wind tunnel directory with all of the CFD results cached there. So all you have to do then is have everything selected and type get external node pressures and what that will do is it's going through getting the pressure coefficients for all of the external nodes that you have selected. And what you can see now is it's created another text file here with external node pressures and you can see here it's actually got all of your pressure node coefficients, external node coefficients for pressures all the way around. And that gives you a much more accurate, especially as this is not a perfectly rectangular building, it's kind of a, a complicated um, shape, especially in here, there'll be some interesting pressure dynamics going on around the building. So um, it's much more accurate to use a CFD results to, to generate the, um, the coefficients. Similarly, um, now that you've just generated that, just go export NG plus and run it. And there you go, it's actually running the case now with CFD based pressure coefficients determined all the way around the building. Alright, so that's how to um, generate a complex airflow network in ODS Studio using CFD for the um, external node pressure coefficients. Thanks very much for listening.